Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we have a viewer submission, and I feel like a jerk here. I can't remember who sent this in because it was a couple months ago, and legitimately, I thought I went over this already, but I did not. And it's not a Caligari donation, but it's a Caligari release, and... I'm very impressed with this. I've heard it a bunch of times before, but never physically. And ooh, does the metal punk attack just, it sounds so vicious on cassette by Orga on their demo tape. You get Warhead art with the cover. And hailing from the state of Indiana. Just look at that fucking promo photo. Wow. Like, a band like Orga, to me, is just underrated as fuck. I mean, you have seriously, like, Killer, killer, punk riddled, fucking satanic black metal. And it's just sick. Like, it comes across so well. And, like, the vibe, everything is just tight. And what I'm, and I'm not just saying tight, like, you know, I'm talking, it's just an airtight sound. It's not too lo-fi, but it's like right in that, you know, sweet spot. The production is what it needs to be for metal punk riddled black metal. I know I forgot to add that part in the beginning, but that's exactly 120% what Orga play is punk infested black metal so I, I like just calling that like metal punk kind of falls under the same category but not really because it is more black metal than punk it's black metal with that punk edge like <laughs> Something very important that a lot of people don't really realize with black metal. If you go and watch, um, I'm sure they're on YouTube now, but um, hold on one second. One second, because this is this ties together kind of full circle now. Literally, this band has circled the wagon. I know that was corny. I'm talking about the mighty Dark Throne. Forget. And the picture disc as well. Now, 
if you have the CD reissue of, um, fuck, what year was it? Well, it has like a multimedia CD, which before YouTube, that was how you saw a lot of your favorite bands live. But here's the thing with Oregon, because it hit me a little bit like later on after listening to this again on a physical media format and I don't know how I missed this but there's a real real like heavy kind of dark throne sardonic wrath error feel and I don't know if that's just me but like it reminds me of like a dark throne style like right before they went to that like kind of motorhead worshiping hiking metal punks canadian metal you know those records and stuff foad etc etc which you know they're good records if you have an open mind but you know, if you want Transylvanian Hunger version 2.0, then obviously don't go listen to Circle the Wagons. You're just going to be disappointed. And that's just the way it is. Like, I'm not taking shots. I'm being dead serious. Like, the thing about Dark Throne is they embraced, again, a lot of you might be like, what the fuck? fuck are you talking about but like a lot of black metal would not exist without punk if you don't believe me ask the dishes they can sing they can dance don't believe me this isn't france but all i know is that this is badass and we get these four well these five Hoosiers and their bunch of satanic, not losers. <laughs> but no, seriously, Orga really nailed Christ to the cross with this one. No escape competition or ritual wisdom. Collection Chase slash in pain and raised in hell. Like, this is a record, like, it kind of makes you want to go pick a fight. Well, a demo. Like, this demo legit makes me want to go fight, like, somebody coming out of church on Sunday. And be like, where's your fucking God now? But I'm not going to do that because I'm not that type of person. But that's the type of demo Orga put out here. Again, that punk like vibe, it's on the fucking money. Like, it's what it needs to be. It's vicious. It's ripping. And notice I didn't use the word buzz saw because, no, when I say ripping, I'm talking like that kind of ripping. Oh, not everybody will know that, but everybody should know superstition. Like, it's got that kind of superstition demo ripping sound, as well as Daiva demo ripping sound. The full-length Daiva, oh my god, I can't wait to go over that with you folks. That is a grade A banger. Like, seriously, <laughs> hails to Steve Jansen for just being a Rippian, and... We're going to go over the new Acid Witch before Halloween. I'm, like, obsessed with this fucking album. And if you don't know, Rod Among Us by Acid Witch. I'm not even joking. It's right next to Witch Tannic Hallucination. Like, it is so good. It's not only catchy, but, like, it's just super... Sounds corny, but, like... Sounds super spooky in the synth department. Like, Slasher Dave killed it. But, back to Orga. Like I said, these Hoosiers 
you know, really bring the satanic vibe also. Like, right here. I know my microphone sucks, but... Orga's awesome, but, like, it really do remind me of, like, Sardonic, Wrath, Error, Dark Throne. And I mean that in the best way possible. But, again, real quickly, if you watch Fenris talk about Transylvanian hunger, he talks about why the drums are just like, you know... Because he was saying it's all about the riffs. And when it comes to Transylvanian hunger, like, the drums are just there. And that's the way they're meant to be. And it's very, like, one of those things that, like, I remember just thinking, like, oh, the drums, you know, like, because, like, if you listen to Immortal, just for the sake of Norway, you listen to Immortal Blizzard Beasts. Obviously, like they're blasting, go it's ridiculous. Where Transylvania Hunger, the drumming is minimalistic as fuck. The whole record's minimalistic, but that's the point. And it just works extremely well and i mean to them they took that whole true norwegian black metal shit super serious i don't know if this one says oh yeah it's about some giant letters because this is a reissue from 2017 i know mine's like a peaceville 30th anniversary but uh I know some of you folks care, and it's in my hands, so. I think this is 180 gram. But Transylvanian Hunger was recorded in November and December 1993. That's what I mean. I made an alternate cover out of the um, picture disc version by using that image. You gotta love it, though. It's just... Classic. And how many times has it been copied? It's ridiculous. But, um... Well, okay, so the digital remasters... They started in 2003. And I'm looking at it right here. So... If you have a... 2003 reissue I think it should have like if you put it into your computer you'll see like these quick time files but again if you just I'm sure they're on YouTube if you just type in the right shit and that would probably be like type in like the making of Transylvanian hunger it, it's like it's really weird in the best way possible but like Fenris is, is wasted I think Nocturne Occult 2 is pretty, like, at least buzzing, but, like, Fenris is just drunk, and it, it's awesome. I, I love that fucking video, because it really, you know, because I, I was a, a big fan, honestly, up until, like, 2005, of the more, like, I would say more of a dissection storm of the lights bane type of black metal sound like satyricon nemesis the video was like you know kind of a go-to record for me when it came to black metal and i'll 
obviously, I mean, it, it's so fucking good. Same with the Somberlin, and when it came to the more lo-fi black metal, you know, it really, honestly, the U.S. black metal scene, especially early Zapser, Leviathan, Krieg, um... Creben, I think that's how you say it, Creben, and like a couple other um, projects, just uh, like really, like like the one man projects, especially like the early years of those one man projects, way before that fucking stupid Vice documentary, like, and it's not stupid, it's actually pretty well done, but like, I don't know, I just, there are way more interesting one-man artists I would have chose than Streborg, but whatever, it's Vice. The hell else do you expect? But I remember when Vice used to be really, you know, kind of worth watching. But I like how Orga have their nice readable logo right there. And then, right there, just in case you're not good at reading logos, I'm being sarcastic, but I love that fucking logo. It's just sick, on the money, especially with the sound of black metal infused punk, aka what I call metal punk, but with a black edge to it, so I have to kind of throw that out there. This is black metal punk of the satanic nature. I know I should have said that 17 minutes ago. I definitely fucked up the first couple sentences, but yeah, I just forgot to add the word punk along with metal because this legit is one of, like, those demo tapes that you'll listen to a ton and every time you listen to it it just puts a smile on your face it's like fuck yeah like that was sick like you know i i don't know a couple uh minutes ago before i made this video i was listening to uh the cranial torment demo and i just was like you know this is so good and it just put a smile on my face but on vocals, we have Spiked Bat. On bass, we have Lord Eldritch. On guitar, Dark Magmus. And on drums, we have Skin Great. Many worship Satan. Satan worships us. That sums up Orga's demo right there. Fucking A. I should have just read that first. Hails to Orga, keep fucking punk evil. Seriously. Hails to Orga for making, seriously, a killer, killer slab of black metal punk here. On Caligari Records 087. I'm looking for a recording date right now real fast, folks. I apologize. I should have looked this up in advance. Because this is sold out, and I apologize, but this is an older, not older, but like, it's a release that's been around for a minute, minute, 2017, or 2018, this dropped, and killer shit, and if you can get a copy of it, because I'm sure somebody put out a CD version, or reissued it, I, I really don't know, but it's worth, it would, it's definitely worth a reissue if, you know, you're a record label out there and you're looking for some punk riddled metal. Look no further than Orga. I would check out, like, Night Terror. Because, like, Spider is, like, on a label. Like, Spider's on Hell's Headbangers. They're pretty set. Devil Master, obviously, is set. Like, it's one of those things. It's getting a lot more popular like i don't know if orga is even still a band but i hope they are 
Because a lot of bands put out these really awesome demos and then vanish into obscurity. Or, like, this actually kind of bummed me out. Because I really love this project. And all of a sudden, a full length drops out of nowhere. And, like, it's all international and shit. Because I hit up um, the record label that did the demo. And they were like, I didn't even know they were doing a full length. And I was just like, ah, fuck. Like, that's... I, you know, hopefully it comes stateside. Because I really love this band. And I think that, you know, a full length would just be awesome. And I'm talking about abysmal length. And the Reflections of Horror tape. Like, these four songs, three, if you don't want to track... If you don't want to count the instrumental, I know some people are weird like that. But, like, I really, really dig Abysmalist. And I just was kind of like, ah, oh, fuck. They put out a full length? Of, like, damn. But, like, Jeremy and Fred, like, I just love this project. I don't know if Fred still does Unearnment. Again, I, that's another, like, I would love some new Unearnment. Or even, like, the vinyl. Like, that needs to get reissued. That should not be something that gets lost to time. And I'm pretty sure the demo, if I remember correctly... Fuck, does it have both? I, I don't remember if it has both. But... I also forget if Self-Immolation Suite is a considered a full length i mean it's five tracks same audio repeats i honestly don't remember but i should have got this on vinyl but i'm happy to have it on cassette but it's just one of those things the same with spiritual like i love this demo but what does this have to do with metal punk especially black metal punk nothing so, I'm sorry, but, like, it just, sometimes, like, you know, like I said, I didn't really do my research, but Indiana State, Orga, to my knowledge, don't have a full length, where Abysmalist, I don't even know what record label they went to, but I got, like, a random email from Abysmalist with, like, artwork and pre-order information and i was just like fuck like i had no idea and i don't even think i n knew what rec i don't think i n know what record label it even like is on like i don't think i ever heard of them or anything but this is just a badass slab of like i said black metal mixed with punk rock Put those two together in a witch's cauldron and poof, kiss the goat and you have Orga. Don't worship Satan, worship Orga. Because according to the band, and again I love this saying, many worship Satan, Satan worships Orga us infernal fucking hails to orga and caligari records as well as the state of indiana heavy hails though from indiana to a couple bands the gates of slumber the dream is dead you played, I, we played a show together. I know you're probably not watching this, but it was with Dead Bird, Fuck the Facts, and uh, Moonshine, I think. But uh, that's a, that was like in 2005. But um, yeah, when it comes to Orga, again, I don't know if this project even exists anymore, but if you're looking for an absolute killer slab of black metal and punk. You can't go wrong with the Orga demo. Just, I know it's sold out, so if it's on Discogs and it's like a gnarly fucking price, I don't, I, I wish I could help you, but I, I can't at the moment. 
so I apologize. But again, it kind of reminds me of like just that kind of later error Dark Throne. Again, because if you've heard the new Dark Throne single, they've kind of gone a little bit full circle. And I kind of I actually really like the new single. I was surprised how much I liked it. I haven't heard Arctic Thunder either. Like the last Dark Throne record I listened to, I honestly don't even remember. Fuck. But I mean, aside from the classics. But anyways, Caligari Records, Orga from either early 2018 or late 2017, this bad boy dropped. And it's an awesome fucking tape. Killer tracks, awesome guitars, great vocals. Love, love, love the drum sound. And I just love the overall menacing, satanic, metal, punk vibe of darkness. Fuck yeah. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hail. Right.